Welcome to You Know. Scientists had long been curious about comets where did they come from how were they formed in 1986 the first probe set out to image HS comet kicking off the quest for answers, but to grasp comets fully more than just photos were needed a hands-on approach was necessary between 1999 and 2. 1,005 two probes embarked on an unprecedented mission to interact with comets in novel ways one probe aimed to collect. Stardust from the comet's icy tail enabling scientists to analyze its chemical composition. The other took a more forceful approach crashing into the comet's surface to study the resulting crater, and debris unleashing the power of five tons of TNT remarkably fate brought both missions together on one comet temple one I'm. Alex McCann and you're watching a strum join me in today's supercut as we delve into the explosive tale of Temple 1 and how the stardust and deep impact probes were both indispensable in uncovering the secrets of this celestial wonder in the early 90s comets remained. Mysterious by 1999, eight spacecraft had ventured to explore comets in our solar system with five of them swooping by HAL's comet in 1986 yet. Apart from HAL's only two other comets had been visited Comet Jacobini Sir in 1985 and comet Greek Skeller up in 1992 while some close-up photos and dust samples had been collected from within 200 kilometers of these cosmic bodies comas, and Tal's many mysteries still shrouded comets what lay beneath their surface what materials composed them and how were they formed. In 1999 NASA proposed a daring plan to find answers understanding comets' inner workings demanded more than surface. Observations the plan to create a crater on a comet using an impact of spacecraft providing insights into its composition, and structure the target Temple 1 a short period comet boasting a nucleus 8 km long, and 5 km wide the outcome of the impact was uncertain theories range from a punch through to the creation of a substantial crater, eager to unravel the truth NASA greenlit the project dubbed Deep Impact allocating a budget of $330 million you might assume the project's name was inspired by the 1998 Hollywood film of the same name, but apparently both names arose independently nonetheless parallels between the film, and the mission are notable although differences abound unlike the film's plot involving a media-threatening Earth Temple 1's orbit posed, no danger the impact of those small compared to the comet would generate enough force to create a sizable crater. Without the need for explosives predictions suggested a crater approximately 100 m across and 30M deep with the mission underway scientists focused on crafting the deep impact spacecraft comprising a payload, and a larger mothership called the Flyby the Flyby weighing 601 kilograms, and measuring 3M in length house scientific instrument solar panels and two cameras, the high resolution imager, and the medium resolution IM imager meanwhile, the impactor weighing 372 kilograms carried its own camera the impactor, targeting sensor streaming back vital data to the flyby. Until the moment of impact considerable public interest surrounded the mission buoyed by NASA's initiative in 23 to invite members of the public to submit their names for inclusion on a CD placed aboard the impactor around 625,000 names were gathered for this cosmic voyage to Temple 1 surface furthermore NASA strategically timed the impact for July 4, American Independence Day while this date coincided with Temple 1's perihelion. Potentially enhancing image clarity due to its proximity to the sun it's likely that American scientists also relished the notion of a grand cosmic firework on January 12, 2005 Deep Impact embarked on its journey at top a Delta Roman II rocket however an early hiccup occurred when within a day of departure the spacecraft's onboard computers triggered a switch to safe mode due to a suspected fault later traced back to a minute minor programming error regarding heat tolerances fortunately engineers swiftly rectified the issue allowing the mission to proceed over the next six months deep impact traversed 429 million kilometers to rendezvous with Temple 1 executing precise course corrections along the way even surpassing the plan number. Due to the accuracy of one adjustment by April 25, 2005 a deep impact caught its first glimpse of comet Temple 1 over 130 million kilometers away. From Earth more than the closest distance between Earth and Mars with manual guidance impractical due to signal lag the Spacecraft relied on its onboard programming for navigation on June 29 the impactor detached from the flyby positioning itself to collide head and with the comet's sunlit side for optimal imaging and kinetic impact then on July 4, 2005 with remarkable precision the impactor struck Temple 1 generating a brilliant flash visible from Earth the impact delivering a force equivalent to 5 tons of TNT exceeded expectations illuminating Temple 1's surface but also triggering a significant dust cloud. 
that obscured the flyby view of the crater despite this setback other telescopes including Hubble and Swift, along with amateur astronomer setups captured the collision yet the primary objective to photograph the crater remained unfulfilled. It became clear that additional missions were needed to complete Deep Impact's mission enter Stardust a spacecraft already in space poised to embark on this crucial follow-up task, but before delving into Stardust's role let's rewind to the late 1990s a time. When our understanding of comets was even more limited the mission presented a daunting challenge revolving around the critical factors of speed and energy comets, hurdle through the inner solar system at staggering velocities of up to 160,000 kmh crafting a probe capable of matching such speeds without excessive fuel consumption posed a significant engineering feat initially Stardust wasn't. Intended for Temple 1 instead, scientists targeted Comet Wild 2 despite efforts to minimize relative velocity even the reduced speed of around 23,400 kmh posed immense challenges for particle capture. While these particles wouldn't inflict significant damage on the spacecraft preserving their original structure for scientific study, amidst impact forces proved paramount into the ingenious solution Arella remarkable material akin to solid air first. Discovered in 1931 by Samuel Clair E.R. Gel boasts extraordinary properties, over 99% air yet possessing structural strength comparable to bricks initially. Crafted from jelly modern AEL compositions typically feature silica offering remarkable lightness and insulation properties when particles strike aeol it provides just enough resistance to decelerate them without causing damage. Leaving distinctive trails for analysis Stardust was equipped with a tennis racket-sized aerogel collector tray comprising 90 blocks ready to deploy. Whenever sampling was required this innovative tool not only captured dust from Comet Wild 2 but also collected interstellar dust facilitating comparisons. And expanding our understanding of cosmic particles once samples were secured a sample return capsule ensured their safe journey back to Earth complete with navigation aids and a parachute for re-entry launched on February 7, 1999 Stardust embarked on a five-year odyssey through space encountering the asteroid 5530, 5 Anafran en route finally. Arriving at Comet Wild 2 on January 2, 24 Stardust unveiled a surprising spectacle contrary to expectations of a mundane surface, while two revealed a landscape adorned with towering spiky pinnacles cliffs and dynamic jets of dust and gas. Even on portions shielded from the sun strikingly absent were craters a rarity among celestial bodies exposed to space this. Absence of impact features underscores the comet's dynamic nature suggesting processes that continually renew its surface concealing. Evidence of past collisions this revelation challenged conventional understanding highlighting the dynamic and evolving nature of curry bodies during the flyby Stardust Arrail Collector was exposed eagerly awaiting the incoming dust. Particles the frequency of impacts echoed the intensity of this cosmic encounter safely stowing away the pressure sample Stardust approached Earth where a nail-biting moment awaited. The ejection of the sample return capsule precision was paramount a slight deviation and approach angle could spell disaster either skimming off the atmosphere, or succumbing to the heat of re-entry thankfully meticulous planning paid off as the SRC gracefully landed in Utah's desert, securing its valuable cargo intact back in the lab analysis of the collected samples unveiled another astonishing revelation about Comet, while too it wasn't an interstellar visitor but a native of our solar system. Contrary to previous beliefs the comet originated within our cosmic neighborhood surprisingly. Despite its icy exterior the comet's core harbored rocks forged under searing temperatures featuring conjules and calcium aluminium. Inclusions typical of asteroids found between Mars and Jupiter this discovery shattered the notion that comets exclusively formed in frigid outer reaches emphasizing their complex dual nature of fire and ice moreover the presence of the amino acid glycine hinted at comets. Potential role in delivering lives building blocks to Earth sparking tantalizing speculation about our origins with these. Groundbreaking findings one might assume Stardust had fulfilled its mission however NASA reluctant to retire a functional spacecraft saw potential for further exploration when the need arose in 2006 for close-up imaging of Temple 1 Stardust emerged as a prime candidate embarking on a six-year journey across the solar system Stardust next aimed to revisit the comet offering. A rare opportunity to observe its evolution over time a first in comet exploration history equipped with suitable Instrumentation and cost-effective advantages Star Stardust was reproposed for this ambitious mission. Yet achieving this feat wasn't without challenges years of meticulous planning were required to orchestrate precise course corrections and synchronize Temple 1's rotation with Stardust's arrival collaborating with observatories worldwide NASA meticulously tracked. The Comet's Faint 
signals utilizing its periodic brightness fluctuations to construct an accurate model with Stardust limited fuel reserves. There was little margin for error demanding unparalleled precision and reliance on sophisticated modeling as Stardust journeyed. Towards Temple Oni and the cosmos unfolded a spectacle of celestial choreography highlighting the intricate dance between spacecraft and comet a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable quest for knowledge amidst the vast expanse of space the stakes were high as Stardust embarked on its journey knowing that even a single miscount could jeopardize the primary mission objective years. Past as Stardust traversed space utilizing an Earth gravity assist, and orbiting the Sun multiple times before executing its final maneuver precisely timed a year in advance. To adjust its arrival by a crucial eight hours locked into its trajectory Stardust braved the onslaught of tiny particles, as it neared Temple 1 enduring impacts that tested its resilience despite some particles breaching its defenses Stardust pressed on undeterred on Valentine's Day in 2011. Stardust made its much-anticipated flyby of Temple 1 capturing 122 images from a distance of 181 kilometers. NASA eagerly awaited the transmission of these images heralding another triumph of Stardust. Precision hit the mark once again the crater left by Deep Impact's payload confirmed the success of the mission orbit larger than predicted, offering insights into Temple 1's porous dust, dominated surface and dynamically changing landscape analysis of the ejected plume revealed a diverse array of materials including organic compounds rich in carbon hinting at comets' potential role in seeding life on Earth. With Deep Impact transitioning to the Epoxy mission continuing its legacy of exploration Stardust still had fuel to spare. Exploiting every last drop Stardust persisted in its scientific endeavors validating models and transmitting valuable data. Until its final moments as its Fuel ran dry Stardust bid farewell with one last transmission, leaving behind a legacy of discovery amongst the stars the remarkable achievements of the Stardust probe, and the Deep Impact mission have unraveled the mysteries of comets shedding light on their origin, and significance in our solar system's history through human ingenuity and precision. We have transcended the enigma surrounding comets recognizing their role in shaping our cosmic narrative, and perhaps fostering the conditions for life. As we know it, so the next time you gaze upon a Cummithiel beauty remember the extraordinary journey that led to our understanding of its profound significance a testament to the indomitable spirit of exploration that defines our species. Thanks for watching.